Do you know that everything changes with just two words? Two words that can change your perspective, your view of everything. Well, what are those two words? Well, let's talk about them this morning, okay? Because when you put God in the situation, it changes your perspective. And it somehow releases God because of your faith to intervene in your situation. I'd like to call your attention, first of all, to Joseph. Yes, that Joseph, who was betrayed by his brothers, jealous over his vision. He saw things they didn't see. He, he um uh, heard things they didn't hear, I saw him. And um, he shared it with them and they became angry with him. Boy, did they get hit. They sold to him, they put him in the well and, you know, then they sold him to the traders and then uh, he became a head man in Potiphar's house from a slave. And then Potiphar's wife takes a liking to him, and then he finds himself in jail. And then from prison in the morning, he's in the palace in the afternoon. Why? Well, what he said to his brothers when the tables was turned, and he had them, their life and death were in his hand. And this is what he said. He said, no, it, it, was not you that sent me here, here's the key words, but God. So he's saying, in essence, you know, in spite of all of what you, you guys did, really God was using you to bring me here. Why? Well, then he goes on to say, he says, you know, God has made me my father, Pharaoh, and I'm in charge of all of his house, and uh, I'm, I'm a ruler in the land of Egypt. And this is what happened because of God. And then Joseph's father, uh, Jacob or Israel said, you know, behold, I die. He said, but God shall be with you and bring you to the land of your fathers. Everything changes with those two words, but God. And then the other speech when after the father died and their kids were, the brothers were afraid that Joseph would do them man, but Joseph stood before them and he says, you know, you thought evil, you did me wrong. But God, two words, but God, but God meant the evil that you did. God meant it for good to bring to pass as it is this day. What for? To save much people alive. And dear friend, you may be going through some tough stuff, but remember those two words, but God, when you put those two words but God into the occasion. Who knows what God will do? You don't know. God has a plan. People don't have the authority to ruin your life unless you let them. No, God didn't give them the authority to do that. God uses what people do to bring us to his ultimate destiny for us. Uh, as we go on, in the New Testament, Paul says, you know, that there are many things that people don't understand, but he says, but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. There are things that we sense, we see, we perceive, we understand, we, uh, we, uh, we grapple with, and people are 
ignorant of. Why? Because God reveals things to us by his spirit. Yes, there's another but God situation. Okay, so you don't have enough education. Or whatever the excuse may be. You feel like everybody is so wise and uh, they have so much perception and so much knowledge or some, but <laughs> here's another wonderful but God. First Corinthians 1, 27, it goes like this. But God has chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the ways. God has chosen the weak things of this world to confound the things which are mighty. Yes, but God. Feel inadequate feel uh, not able or not to, God uses the foolish things and the weak things of this world to confound the, uh, the uh, wise and the mighty. Are you ready for another but God? Here it comes. 1 Corinthians 3.17 So neither he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God gives the increase. Yes, keep planting, keep watering. You don't bring the increase. God has not given you. God gave you the, the right and the and the, uh, the authority and and uh, the responsibility to plant and to water. But God takes the responsibility to give the increase. Another, but God, how how comforting that is. How. Uh, wonderful that is and uh, how uh, responsibility releasing that is we don't have to pull uh, fruit out of the branches of the tree God gives the increase we don't have to pull the fruit out of the vegetables of the ground no God does that we plant we water but God gives the increase and so the next but God is Galatians 6 14 but God Forgive that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. I asked God once when he said to me, and this is what I think he said in return. I perceive this, God said, nothing to boast of, much to be ashamed of, but much, much to be thankful for. And I said, yeah, that's me. That's me. Much to be ashamed of but much to be thankful for, but nothing to boast of, except in thy glory and the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the final one we'd like to talk about him is that what they did to Jesus, you know, they, they, they pierced him, they nailed him, they plucked out his beard, they shoved this thorny crown on his scalp, and, and, you know, unspeakable things. And then he went through the torture and it was a prolongated torture that the, the Romans had devised to prolong the death of uh, the victim. And uh, here the Bible says, they took him, Jesus, down from the tree and they laid him in a grave. <laughs> but God, oh, but God raised him from the dead. Hallelujah. And either Jesus Christ is alive or he's not. And if he is alive, then there's nothing that's more important. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, take heart today. And remember, but God makes everything different, changes everything when you put God in the equation because... With faith, nothing shall be impossible. God bless you. This is your friend, Pastor Roy, talking to you from Apavia, Romania. And I'll be back by the grace of God.